Hello, it's me again, Teresa. Um, I'd just like to say hello and uh, just keeping up to date with you. It's been a few months since I've um, made a recording. Um, so I thought I'd have a go at it again. Um, becoming a bit of an old hat at it now. Um, loving the Zoom because um, it allows me to keep in contact with you, importantly. But it also allows you to contact me if you need to, which is great. So. Um, Keeping in contact with each other and having good communication is really vital in situations that we found ourselves in over the last few months. And now that we see some sort of light at the end of the tunnel, I still feel we have a long way to go. Um, it's nice to get back to feeling some form of normality. Um, most people are thinking about going back to work, like myself, starting back at work in September and children are thinking about going back to school and all of that of course is um we are wondering whether it's the right decision right choices for us but um hopefully it will be and we will find ourselves back on track and doing what we do working and enjoying family life and being with each other so when i said i'm back i am back doing my classes um, i'm still working with, with learn devon and enjoying the well-being tutoring um, but i have started now in september my own classes and looking forward to doing that again um, i love meeting new learners um, and often bump into my old learners as well and they enjoy that uh, occasionally to see how they're getting on and how they're thriving in their lives um, in september i have um, the counseling skills course and a lot of people um, are not too sure what counselling skills is. Well, it's really about um, communication. It's about having yourself available to others, but in a way where you're actively listening. You're actually um, taking part in a journey together, if you like. You're, you're sitting and you're listening and you're being aware of the other person. You're on a, on a therapeutic journey and understanding um, what is being said to you, but also being able to help that person to empower themselves to understand what's going on for them. So it's really not training to be a therapist, it's really about having the skills and the knowledge and tools, as I call them, available to you when you most need it. You, we always find ourselves in situations sometimes and you think, I wonder if I said the right thing. I wondered if I did the right thing. I wondered if I could have done this. So what counselling skills does is it, it gives you that awareness of, well, maybe I should have um, done it this way, or I, I know I can do it this way now. But also if you work in an area where you are working with the general public, for instance, if you're a volunteer in an organisation, or you're um, working as a residential worker, or you're um, even a, um, a tutor, a teacher, um, you're working in the community with people, or if you're generally um, you know, a carer or somebody that you feel that a lot of your time you're just listening or you're being there for the person and having those skills, those counselling skills um, gives you an, a, a slight advantage to help them and support them in those difficult times. So not only that, it's about, um, it's about learning about communication. It's about sometimes I'm not quite sure how that person said that or why they said that. Um, and so it's understanding them and how they're saying it and developing a way of communicating where you both feel valued in that communication, that your value is there and they feel valued when, when you've talked to them or you've listened to them. That's really important. Also, um, it's really about um, using that skill in everyday life. Um, there's been many, many times when um, counselling skills have come in useful for me <clears throat> in certain situations. <clears throat> when I find myself in um, a difficult situation and I'm not too sure um, what to do, I can reach in and get those tools out and think, yes, I can, I can do this. So if you want to know a bit more, you can um, go on my um, website, which is www firstenterprisetraining.co.uk. You can also email me. I apologise for my dog barking. That's chasing the cat around the other room. Um, you can also email me on firstenterprisetraining at gmail.com. Um, I can send you some further information.
But if you go on the website, you'll also see lots of other courses that might be of interest to you in your own self-development. Learning about yourself is really important. Learning about what you want in your life, where you're going, um, if things aren't working out for you, is there a reason? Um, perhaps we can look at that. Perhaps you can look at that. Um, find a course or a workshop where you can find something that will help you develop as a person, help with your self-worth, your self-growth, your confidence, and actually give you a space to actually think about you, what you want in your life. We, all, we always sometimes get in muddle, especially these last few months where we've had that really, um, if you're not, it's not a gift, but it's just time um, to reflect on where we are in our lives. And is this really what I want? Is this what I want to do? Um, how can I develop myself? Um, how can I look at my self-worth and my confidence? So going on courses that are about your well-being, about your self-development and self-growth is really about you growing as an individual, understanding you. If you can understand yourself, then you can understand others so much better. So that's really important. So um, September's workshop is on hoarding. It's a hoarding disorder. Um, there are uh, lots of people around um, that work in the general public, people that do cleaning, people work in the community that come across people that might have a hoarding disorder and might, they might want to support them or you might have a family member or a friend that you'd like to help or you might feel that you might have that disorder yourself and you need to understand it and try and work with it so that you feel more comfortable and you can manage it yourself. Um, that's a really interesting course and it's a, it, a um, a one day course, a one day workshop, and it's running from 10 o'clock till four in Sidmouth. And again, that's on the website. And if you'd like more information about that, then please do go on the website, www.firstenterprisetraining.co.uk. And there will be more information um, about that course and about other courses that are coming up. So many wonderful courses for you to do. Start a new interest, but start an interest about yourself. Start being interested in yourself and who you are and who you'd like to be and where you would like to go with your life. If that's you, then maybe this is the time to start thinking about doing some of these courses. There are fun, interactive courses. Um, I'm never boring. I hope I'm never boring. Um, uh, I try to get you involved as much as I can in the courses. So um, please come along. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you'd like to find out more or you'd like to um, just find out more about what the content of the courses are and where they are held and when they're going to be. Um, and uh, I look forward to meeting you and um, please stay safe, safe, stay healthy, stay happy and keep growing as an individual. And I really look forward to meeting you soon and getting to know you a little bit better. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye bye for now.